What's up, YouTube? It is your girl, Ivory. I am coming to you after another seven day fast. And I'm trying to film this on my camera, but I got so used to my iPhone that it's so hard for me to adjust to this, but we're gonna try it. My neighbors is at the pool getting crunk, so hopefully I don't get, uh, what is it, copyright for their music, because they playing Neo in the background, but whatever. I just wanted to come and update you guys about this seven day fast. You're gonna see little clips of me throughout the fast, but I just wanted to give you a total conclusion. During this fast, I was able to release some addictions that I had. I was able to break up with weed. I was able to break up with wine. I was able to break up with company. Um, I was able to break up with insecurities. I was able to break up with feeling like singleness was an issue and understanding singleness is such a blessing in order to have marriage, you have to master singleness. In order to be in God's perfect will, you have to master singleness. I realized that Adam was alone and he mastered singleness before God ever looked upon him and knew that he needed Eve. So trying to jump and hurdle into something that I haven't mastered the step one of was bizarre to me, but God showed me that. And I mastered intimacy with God. And I know that as you deliver yourself from stuff and you you come out of stuff that it only comes at you harder and I'm, I'm expecting that i'm totally expecting temptations and whatever and whatever but now that i'm equipped with the right tools i'm ready for it so i just wanted to let you guys know that this fasting has been a game changer for me it has changed my whole demeanor it's changed my whole way that i love is the way that i accept motherhood now i mean i love motherhood now i love being an auntie i love just being that figure and god has blessed me and put me in that position to do so so i just wanted to share that with you all and encourage you all that if you want god to answer your prayers and increase your needs and the desires of your heart you have to meet him legally in fasting because that's law that's god's law fasting and prayer goes hand in hand so in order for your prayers to be answered and for god to move for you you have to make room for him to do so by depleting things out of your system your spiritual system your physical system you have to make room while you're acting in order for you to receive you in order for you to pile things on you have to let things go and i realized that that fasting goes hands hand in hand with prayer and I was praying for so long, it wasn't fasting and just feeling like God wouldn't answer me. He didn't care. He's skipping over me, he's choosing them and da 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 da, da. And now that I'm fasting, he's moving like this. <laughs> and it's so beautiful and it's so amazing. And I am blessed to be in this singleness. I used to think that being in singleness was such a struggle, it was a hassle. It was, I am blessed. <laughs> I am blessed to be in God's perfect will to receive. And I'm glad that I'm understanding that now before I add it to myself. I had to figure it out with someone that wasn't whole. So I thank God for molding me into being whole and healing me and pruning me in this moment to receive whatever he needs to add to me, whether that be ministry or amen. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for God to continue my singleness and continue my wholeness and continue my molding so I could be all that I need to be for him. Cause that's what it's all about. It's not about being who I need to be for others or for a perfect man or for a friendship or for it's for him. And that intimacy, top tiers, <laughs> anything else I could ever imagine for or wanted or desired. So fasting is the game changer guys. Make sure you add fasting to your lifestyle. Hand in hand with prayer. You don't need people to pray for you. You need to pray for you. God never gave prayer as a gift in the Bible because it's mandatory that you pray and have communion with him. So add prayer to your life. If you want to win, you got to go deep within. Fast and pray, guys. Love you. Fly about the valley in the fire. Oh. Train her feet for running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your boots.